you never turn, you never make a mistake. But what's the fun of that? They say to err is human to, to forgive divine. Don't beat yourself up. Go out in the shop making make, make some mistakes. So I use a Nova Live system for some specialty live center stuff. I like the versatility. Uh, this thing, this thing it uses a stubby Morse taper here without having to caliper it. Ooh. Well, that was exciting. You'll see that on a bloopers video for sure because I'm recording this. <laughs> let me sh let me grab something here. I'll show you. Ah, I'm all right. <laughs> After I get up off the floor. I got too much stuff in my shop. I'm tripping over stuff. All right, so let me... Here it is. I've used a little painter's tape to, to hold it. And notice we do wrap it where it's the unfold... The uh, leftover edge is coming toward us so it doesn't come apart. And we're going to use that just enough to skim the bottom, get it concave using a sharp spindle gouge. Tape didn't want to hold. <laughs> Let's try some masking tape over top of that. The shavings are working their way in. Again, starting away from us, bringing it to us like this. I'm just going to taper this off back in here using this Hunter Viceroy tool. I think that'll be the best thing. It's going to be a hard wood into a soft wood and that ought to do it. Let's see what happens. It did not like that at all. It did not like that at all. Grabbed it right there. Okay. So I think what happened is my tool rest, my tool rest was not tight enough and it popped down. Okay, it did. We good. And I'm going to hold it down with my left hand. Can't see that. Let's change cameras. Holding down. I'm going to ease it in from the right hand side. Engage the wood. And this wow oh shit. Tighten this up. And for this size blank, you want to get the speed up to maybe 2,000. Maybe go a little faster once it's round, and you're just gonna anchor the tool, ride the bevel, lift the handle until you get shavings, and then move in the direction of the flute. Anchor the tool, ride the bevel, and then move in the direction of the flute. Now we're going to part off the mill head from the mill body using a narrow parting tool. Give ourselves a little bit of relief by coming back. Now we just leap far back and forth. Okay, I thought I had a little bit more room before I could just separate these. 
by just twisting them, but no problem. And we've got a pattern on this side. I wonder if we bend it over here, come in the other direction. Now we've got kind of a herringbone pattern that uh, it just touches in the middle. Let's try the cylinder pattern. Whoa, baby. Woo, woo, woo. <laughs> that sucker was hot. All right, in this case, we're going to come up along the edge. Jam chucks worked very well, uh, especially for boxes like this. So I'm coming in parallel with a box to slip in, do a little more cleanup work. Then we're going to move this out of the way and trial fit the box. Oh crap, I overshot it a little bit. Oh, we got a solution for that. We'll just use a little kitchen paper, paper towel. Oops, still too loose. Got a solution for that. Let's spray just a little bit of water on it. That'll dampen the fibers a little bit, get it to swell. Put the box in. And tear off the excess paper. Yeah, we're getting close. And now we bring up tailstock support just for a little, little extra measure. Always use tailstock support. And then that gives us a good measure to uh, finish off the bottom and it's looking good. Dell stock support certainly helps but sooner or later we got to remove that nub. So let's take away the tail stock. Crap. <laughs> I think we're going to go ahead and uh, do this. I don't think it's going to fit in here. So we're going to have to come up with another chucking solution. Another opportunity for problem solving. No problem. Nope. <laughs> Close but no cigar. Alright, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to make a little tiny jam chuck and if we need to we will use a tiny little bit of uh, double stick tape. Now, so I pulled out one of my spindle scraps. So, let's double check these with the calipers. Already got that marked. So we're going to come in here with a inside out tool. This is just a special box scraper. Whoa! What happened there? Did I not tighten that thing down? I must not have. 
Okay, so you can see what I've done is I've come in here with this parting tool and uh, went down a little ways and I've gotten behind, uh, left a little uh, sliver of wood. I'm going to go down a little bit further. Oop. Didn't mean to part it off that way. That didn't show you exactly the trick I was going to show you. But the trick I was going to show you is actually once you get that sliver of wood there, you can get here and pop it off without damaging uh, the, the wood. But this will work as well. If you live or visit in the Atlanta area and want some hands-on instruction, check out my website, MikePeaceWoodTurning.com, for de details. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Now go out into your shop and make some mistakes. It's okay. Or you watch me make some more mistakes on this video. Y'all stay safe and have fun. Come back here.